All righty, ladies and gentlemen, was reading some of that wrestling news. And NXT has defeated AEW again in the ratings. Three weeks in a row, ladies and gentlemen. Three weeks in the motherfucking row there. And AEW fans and wrestlers alike, they're in panic mode. You know, they want to do some fucking damage control. Chris Jericho. Yeah, guys, we won the ratings again. Won the demo. Um, Jericho knows how to pander to these indie marks, you know. The indie fans, they love this cheap, in-denial type of trolling or whatever there. So, so may, even one day when they're down to 10,000 viewers, they're going to claim that they're winning, and that's fine, you know. As long as they're having fun, that's all that matters there, but... Um, even Tony Khan, ladies and gentlemen, was on Twitter talking about the demo or whatever. And this demo talk started with Dave Meltzer. It's pretty sad to see a company that just fucking, you know, Dave Meltzer is like their life force. You know what I mean? He tells them what to say. They wrestle to please him. He overrates their matches to try to help them out. It's it's weird to see a company like this so heavily influenced by a, a goofy wrestling journalist or whatever there. But Tony Khan writes that, you know, WWE fans is what he's talking about there. He's like, these fans... They brag about the demo on Mondays and Fridays, and they act like it doesn't matter on Wednesday nights. Since when would you see a big, you know, boss of a company like this there go online writing petty shit like this about fans or whatever? You know what I mean? Like, I'm a WWE fan, been watching it for 30-plus years. Yes, the, the product is bad nowadays there, but I still watch. Sometimes it's good, you know what I mean? But, like, you hear about the 18 to 35 demographic. You hear usually the company talk about this. Guys like Eric Bischoff, but... Like, I can only speak for myself. I have never went online bragging about the demos of Monday and Friday. Never did this. I talked about WWE ratings for 10 years on YouTube. You never heard me. Hey, guys, raw viewership going down, but we still got the demo, guys. We're winning. We won. I've never done this, you know, maybe some WWE fans are talking about this now in response to the AEW people and their bullshit arguments or whatever, but, you know, I never heard this there. Hey, how about that demographic bill on Monday nights? I never did this, never heard anybody else do this either. Never seen TNA fans doing this shit. This is AEW exclusive desperation. You know what I mean? Um, like, uh, say what you want about Vince McMahon there. I know it's the cool thing to bash McMahon online now in the wrestling world. Vince is senile. Boring indie jokes. It's good shit, pal. It's not even funny or whatever. Say what you want about McMahon. You're not going to see him on Twitter acting like a bitch boy like, like Tony Khan does. You know what I mean? You're not going to see McMahon acting like this because McMahon is a pro. Despite what the indie fans want you to believe there and... WWE fans who are pissed off at the PG product. McMahon is a pro. 
He knows what he's doing. Even today, he's making more money than he ever has with his product. Maybe not during Corona right now, but no matter how many people bash him and stop watching, blah, 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 he makes more money than he's ever done. And he did this. He made all of his money with wrestling. He took his dad's company and built an empire or whatever. Tony Khan. He's just a guy who happens to be a rich father, who happens to have a rich father. The father bought him a company and now he pretends to be Vince McMahon every week. There's the difference between Vince and Tony Khan. Tony Khan has no fucking clue what he's doing. He doesn't know how to conduct himself. He's embarrassing himself on the computer, acting like this there, you know. But according to AEW fans, he's the best booker, you know. Even they have poor Jim Ross. Oh, Tony Khan, that's a booker there, Tony. That's a real booker. He, he's not a real booker. He's a fucking goofball, a big mark doing his press conferences. Yeah, guys, this was the greatest show. This, this was the greatest show of all time we did tonight. Five people watched it. This is the greatest show. Give me a fucking break, goof. But, um, you know, next week, they're having a, another free pay-per-view on television three weeks in a row of free pay-per-views even tna wasn't that desperate you know what i'm saying there um so they might win next week they have another free pay-per-view they have a, a world title match or whatever if mcmahon really wanted to there he could have Stone Cold appear on NXT. Stone Cold is going to come talk to the young wrestlers or whatever. And they would get 2 million viewers on NXT if he really wanted to. You know what I mean? But he doesn't. He's just toying with this, this goofy company. You know what I mean? But... Um, these guys, they want to act like this company, it's ride or die. They want to put all their love and emotions towards Tony Khan's business or whatever. You know what I mean? They want to buy all the t-shirts to spite McMahon. You can buy t-shirts till your mother is bankrupt there. The fact is AEW will never become a big real wrestling company. All right, they probably get half their viewership simply because it's on TNT. And it reminds fans of WCW with Jim Ross and Tony Schiavone, stuff like this. At some point, it's going to go even worse, the ratings. You know, the shiny new toy stuff is starting to fade off. The product is bad. It's not a great product, you know. The TNA fans that, that are watching this, they jumped ship to the next McMahon hater company there. They're going to stop watching just like they stopped watching TNA. You know what I mean? They love their TNA, boy. They were big tough guys, these TNA fans there. They stop watching. You know what I mean? And people that hate McMahon that stop watching WWE, they're going to watch this for a little bit. They're going to stop watching too, you know what I mean? It's just the fact that the wrestling business is going downhill as a whole, you know? So the idea that this company is going to change the world, just change the slogan to change the demo or whatever. Just go with that because that's the only thing you got or whatever. The demo, you know, this company is going to go down. No matter how much love you have for this, no matter how much fake praise that the websites give to this so they can get clicks from the indie fans and the marks there. It's going to go down whether you like it or not there, so... 
Just get ready, boys, because at some point it's going to be 500,000, 400,000. It's going to happen. Oh, this is a new company. It's it's going to grow in time. No, it won't. It's, it's going to go down in time. Maybe if they separate and they go on a different night, they might get a million, but then it'll go down to 900, 800, 700. And then they're going to end up on Twitch with TNA or whatever. You know, and the longer Khan is going to stay in business, he's just going to lose more and more of his father's money. It is what it is. But, hey, I, I hope you guys have fun with this product there. I mean, <laughs> hope you guys are having a good time. <laughs> Until next time. Peace. <laughs>